Alright folks, today we are making Dutch oven venison, so stay tuned because it's time to grill! So I hope you enjoyed your holiday time. For all of those who are ready to eat, this is a part of venison. I hope I got the vocabulary right here. This is like Bambi. This is my personal mixture of um, salt. For all of you who won't be able to get this, this is uh, one part of kosher salt or two parts of kosher salt, one part of dried oregano and one part of dried tomato. You might add some olives as well. So this is a mixture and rub your leg of venison. Feel free to use as much as you like. So this gets a nice, nice crust in the beginning, that's why we do this. And in the meantime I prepared my Dutch oven and I prepared my starting chimney with coconut charcoal. So we've preheated the Dutch oven, we add some olive oil. This is a 12 inch Lodge Dutch oven. You might have seen this in some of my older videos. And now start with the leg. You might have seen that is a bone inside. So start with um, heating up from both sides. And today the sauce is the clue, so stay tuned for an awesome sauce for your venison or for other um, great things like, I don't know, wild boar, all those deer stuff. So once the leg has some color, take it out and add some onions, some leek, I put the exact amount of each into the video description. Carrots, celery. And now let that heat up for approximately 5 or 10 minutes. And don't forget to steer every here and now. Or do you say every there and now? I don't know, you get the point. So now, let's um, talk about the twist of that sauce. There are two ingredients that make this one extremely special. First of all, you take 200 grams of jam. This is raspberry jam, but you can use cranberry jam or any winter jam that is uh, perfect for the dish. And the next thing we need is Aachener Printen. Yeah, <laughs> now that's hard to explain. Well, this is a kind of that um, baked things you get for Christmas. But if I got my English colleagues right, you might call this one gingerbread. So, four pieces of gingerbread here. Put them in and stir and heat them up for another 10 minutes. So let's come to the last ingredients. We need a whole bottle of 1964 Chateau Lafitte. This one is special for $1.99 in my local supermarket. A whole bottle, this means 0.75 liters. Put in the leg of venison, close the lid, add the charcoal and let this one cook for approximately two and a half hours. So, luckily this one is YouTube, so you don't have to wait for two and a half hours. So this is how your leg looks like, your leg, that's funny, huh? your leg of venison looks like after cooking two and a half hours. Now get rid of the harder parts with the sauce. Wait until the end of the video, I'll show some um, important for storing that sauce later on. Now you can just bring this to a boil and you're ready with one of the taste 
really tasty sauce, one of the most tasty sauce you might ever um, have ever eaten. Now I have to apologize. Um, over the last weeks, I always had some great shots of food in the in the um, end of the video, like the steak cuts. This one is not too, um, yeah. Not too nice, I guess. Um, I will show you some more shots of um, me uh, eating the bone and stuff, but this one is not too fancy. So no final picture here today. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you have a great uh, New Year's Eve next weekend coming up. Please stay tuned for another idea of storing the sauce, which comes in the end. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Uh, leave me a thumb up or comment if you are, um, want to um, remake the sauce. Just check out the video description. So this is um, basically how I store the sauce. You just put them into a ice cube. That's what we call ice cube bag. Just put them into and then put it into the fridge. And uh, after refrigerating you get nice ice cubes of sauce. Every time you're making a new sauce and you want to have that flavor of some sweet ginger, bread, raspberry, jam, venison taste, just feel free to take one or two of these out and add this to your sauce. It gives a great flavor. So that's the idea. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.